Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. Meet the beauty queen who is getting married to the only of you fair. Her name is Toby Phillips. And it has inside that her looks befit that of a queen. She's the third official wife of the only of you fair. She was a beauty queen who won the world Miss University Africa in 2012. WMUA. Then she was 20 years old. She was an undergraduate at the 400 level in the University of Lagos in Akoka, in Lagos State. She currently runs a popular fashion label known as QTP Luxury Fashion and has been a 3D artist since 2018. She's a native of Okitibupa, Nondo State. Toby has been dating a monarch for over six years. And speaking of her modeling career, some years back in an interview, she recalled the basic stage of modeling career started from secondary school when I was crowned the queen of my school. Then I was in junior secondary school three. When I got into the University of Lagos, there was a whole pageant in 2009, and I was crowned Miss Madame Timubu Paul. Then I was in 100 level. In 2010, I was nominated in my department to contest for Miss Sciences in 2010. I did and I won. From there, I had to contest for Miss Unilag and I came first one out. By 2011, I contested for CCOG Africa and I was the first one out. I became World Miss University in Nigeria 2012. And on her personality, I don't quarrel. I'm easygoing. I don't cry because I don't think I have the energy to argue. I really get hungry. For me to be, then it means that the person must have been a pest and done such a thing over and over again. I'll just want the person and say, you have done this before. I don't want you to continue doing it. I tend to forget easily and I've learned to live with people of various characters. Also, I tend to ignore anyone with a nasty character. I like being truthful. I like calm environment. I hate falsehood. I hate being cheated. Some people will feel they are smart and will tend to play on people's intelligence, but I can't stand that. If you have confidence in yourself, there's no need to tell lies. She began to marry to do an overview on Sunday, October 9th, this year, 2022, and she will be the third queen of the only overview. So, from planning the grand wedding reception of the monarch, Obadeyeye, to Yeyilu and Miriam Anako, to his 48th birthday party, Dioni will be planning his birthday with two other weddings. It's indeed going to be a celebration gala. Miriam Anako was welcomed into the palace in September 2022. And less than 48 hours after that, Olori Elizabeth Ekwelu Agunusi Niakimuda was also betrothed to the king. This was said to have happened at the Magudo area of Liko State. But then, Adeyaye and his Ogusi is not stopping with just two new coins. Some are even saying that it could be up to seven weddings this month. And he said to officially welcome his third queen, Toby Phillips, on Sunday, October 9, 2022. Toby, who has said to have been dating the only for over six years, is a graduate of my science from the University of Lagos. I was said to have been tipped to be queen after Louis and Abuela left. But then fate trusted in Professor Shilio Kola Naomi, who then sadly separated from the monarch in December 2021. A little bit about the honorary fair. He was born Prince Ade Yenita Gusi in Ibadan, you know, your state, as the son of Prince John Luopu Ogunusi. And Princess Margaret were allowed to to her baby, Ogunusi, into the royal house of Gaisi, one of the four royal families of the house of Ramea. His paternal grandfather was Prince Joseph Alagbaju, Adiwole Ogunusi, whose grandfather was Obareba, also known as Oraiba, Orasiba, who was the 44th of Ife and ruled from 1878 to 1880. And through him, his direct descendants of Onia Bedebede, who was a descendant of Oni Gis, the progenitor of the Gis Ray House. And thus, a descendant of Oni Lajodogun. Lajodogun was the son of Oni Lajamisa, 
who was the grandson of the legendary founder of the Oyo Empire, Oromiya. Oromiya was the son or grandson of the first Oni of Ife Odudua. First, the Oni is a descendant of Odudua, one of the early rulers of Ife. It was said that his birth was predicted years before he was conceived. Hence, the name Enator was given by his mother, while his grandfather named him Adeyi, which means the crown befits the throne. He is the fifth child in a family of seven. And as regards his professional career, he is a member of the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Nigeria. He is also an associate accountant technician. He is a certified member of the Institute of Directors. He is also a member of the Global Real Estate Institute. He holds a number of honorary doctorate degrees, one in public administration from the University of Nigeria, Suka, and another in law from Ibinedo University. He is the Chancellor at the University of Nigeria in Nusuka. As regards his education, he started his elementary education at Shubola Memorial Nigeria Primary School in Ibado. Ibadan District Council at Kobo Ibadan. He then proceeded to Loyola College in Ibadan and later to St. Peter's Secondary School in Ife, where he received the secondary school certificate. He graduated as an accountant from the Polytechnic in Ibadan. Oni was elected from the Gates ruling house of Ife amongst indigents who were also helped to the throne on 26th of October 2015. He received the staff of office. On 7th of December 2015, he has been described as an astute entrepreneur, driven by the need to turn impossibilities into possibilities. Shortly after his coronation, as regards part of his achievements, he met with the little laughing for you, Oba Lamidi Adeyemi III, and by so doing, initiated a new era in the history of the Yoruba state. He effectively broke the genes of institutionalized discord between the thrones. That have plagued the Lefe and the for decades. He said to be an advocate for the empowerment and emancipation of women and young people. He has transformed the Lefe into a tourism as it has been reported. The changes included the beautification, redesign, and reconstruction of the Asian city. So, this is a little bit about the Oni of And we have come to the end of this episode where I get to meet the beauty queen getting married to the Oni of Ife. We bring you updates on the wedding ceremony. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.